That's uh that's a new one. I'm managing to go a go a whole live stream chat where I can go 20 seconds late and not called late. Live stream. Oh, shut up me. Greetings and salutations everybody. Oh ha ha lane. <laughs> How you doing, Garrett? Gwen. Sammy Dean's brother. Maldwin! Uh, crap. Hold on. Uh, B. May? Uh. Is it... Eglacialis? Eglacial? Uh, hold on. Wait, I gotta make sure something's not working the way that something's working. Okay, cool. Uh, where was I? Okay, three exit, Wolf Rick, Hawk, Corey, Garrett, Jovan, Jovan, uh, Jesus, Armok, Silver, Disaster, Beck, Edguera, hello everybody! I have a DM on Discord, who's sending- ah, it's a League of Legends lobby, cool. Dude, Pedro, Tobias, somebody, what's up? Not much, how's everybody doing? Not only was there a Lemon stream, but also a Kyle stream today as well. Yeah, Lemon stream was awesome. Gamer Dad, Mr. Man, Ryan. Calling me disaster is pretty accurate. I mean, it's your name. No face cam? Not at the moment. I might turn it on later. We'll see what happens. So, I've been waiting for a new upload. I am glad you brought that up. So, I am well AF on vacation, B. How are you? I am doing okay, Mr. Beck Nash. Mr.? Mr. Wait. I feel like my brain is setting off alarms about that. I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, hello, Knight. So, basically, I wanted to do this stream like five days ago, but, um, Kyle got sick. Uh, by the way, while I'm telling this story, you guys know the drill. Funniest chat message gets the, uh, gets the name, so. Funniest name you can come up with. Go. Um. So. Basically, I wanted to do this stream, like, five days ago. Uh, but I got sick. You know? And that's not very cool. <laughs> Burger pin. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm back now. Uh, part of me getting sick was my throat wasn't working, and uh, I need to record the voiceover for the next uh, for the next uh, challenge video. So that's what we're doing. Chesare, we got the bad food. H. P. Yetus, Farquad, Rat Lord, Methamir, Steve, Manus. Rat King, I've got a long sword. Uh, thou tarnished maidenless. Peter Turbo. Peter Turbo is pretty great. Uh, the Duke of Prunes. Sir Dump Truck. <laughs> you know what? I actually like Sir Dump Truck. We'll go with that one for today. If the Xbox will let me insert a name. Hello? Why is there a space there? I can't. Um, but yeah. I see a couple people asking what the run is about, so let's go ahead and go over it. Basically, for, uh, there's a video I'd like to do, uh, by the end of the year, where we play through the game as every starting class, using only the starting class's gear, and, uh, once we're done, we're gonna rank them on which one was the hardest, which one's the easiest. Basically, it's gonna be a big challenge video, just like my usual challenge video. Might be slightly different format, but it's gonna be big, edited voiceover, the whole nine yards. Uh, but hey, just wanted to see, uh, how this goes. And, uh, oh, I should probably hit record, shouldn't I? So that way we actually have footage for the video I'm making. Yeah, that'd be good. Um... So yeah, we're gonna do a stream of each of these classes. Warrior, Knight, Wanderer, Thief, Bandit, Hunter, Sorcerer, Pyromancer, Cleric, Deprived. We're gonna play as all of them. And 
we're only allowed the gear that we see in that portrait right there. That's it. So, uh, we're beating the game on a longsword and a heater shield, which isn't the worst thing on the planet, but, uh, eventually we'll get to things like, uh, the bandit's knife and the target shields, and, uh, probably not gonna be as easy. Uh, probably still gonna be easy in comparison to some of the other things I've done, but Sir Dumpy, all right, you know what? Y'all convince me. I like Sir Dumpy. Um, but yeah. Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. There's a, there's a large lower body. There we go. Now he is officially, just to be sure. Ah, oh, yeah, that's Sir Dumpy right there. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we're going for. Yeah, so. I'm glad you brought that up, Youngblood. Um, I was thinking about just sticking to the theme, like, uh, kind of like a, like, thematically accurate for each starting class. Um, I don't know, maybe that's a concept we can do afterwards. I mean, just taking each, or maybe we could even talk about that in the final video. Like, if you wanted to upgrade the class thematically, what would you, what would that look like? And maybe we'll just include that uh, in the final video. That actually could be pretty fun. I was uh, already thinking about that, but I'm glad you brought it up. Can you infuse stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Um, does this mean no rings? No, we are allowed to use rings. Uh, granted, almost everything is probably going to look like Havel's ring, ring of favor and protection, but... You know. Sometimes it do be like that. Uh, I can infuse stuff. Um, I can upgrade ancients. stuff. I can do kind of whatever I really want to with the character. Uh, leveling up Shrouded is allowed, yes. Um, I know this may seem like it's a really basic challenge, but crags, that's kind of the point, actually. And um, for spells, only the first one, correct. So when we get to Sorcerer, um, they start with Soul Arrow. So the only fire. spell I'll be allowed to cast is Soul Arrow. Now, if I can and pick up extra fire. copies, I'm allowed to do in that. Disparity. So, like, if I end up with 90 Soul Arrows, he cool. Uh... Life if I, death. you know, on Cleric, course, I can only cast the Heal Miracle. And dark. After Thor Thorn's only new game plus, you deserve some easy ones. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I have been doing some easy Game ones. Uh, granted, y'all haven't seen the they video came. for Hexes Only yet. Which, by the way, and found the souls of lords um, within the flame. For Hexes Only, Dark Souls 2, that is coming. I am on the voiceover part of that. I just need to finish doing the voiceover. And then once I'm done with that, I just got to edit together the big video, and you will have that on your plate. So uh, almost definitely before the end of October, you'll have that. Um, won't guarantee it'll be by, like, the end of next week or anything. But. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking I'm going to do. We do not use the word easy. And then DS3. Uh, d so right now the video schedule, and I'm actually going to bring this up at some point. Uh, ba basically how videos are going to look. I have for sure three, somewhere between three to five videos I want to put out by the end of the year. Which I know is not great, but I'm not a very timely person. Uh, so the next video is going to be Hexes Only Dark Souls 2. After that... Uh, is going to be a challenge video from a non-Souls game, believe it or not, that I've been working on for a few weeks. Uh, look forward to that one coming out. Uh, if anybody wants to take any hints on what it is, uh, The Backlog's Lemon actually recommended the challenge to me. He actually recommended I take it on, and... Yeah, so that's where we're going to go on that. Uh, after that, uh, if you guys have seen the, uh, if you guys have seen, uh, This is Hollow Knight, um, and you liked that, uh, that video, like, format, uh, I hope you did, 
Because uh, after the non-Souls challenge, we're going to be doing Dark Souls 3, the whole game in that format. So, RuneScape challenge run? I'd love to. I really should. See, okay. I want to go on a tangent on that, again, on Jagex. Not that I hate them or anything, but I'm going on a tangent here in a second about that. But hold the thought on that one. Um, but yeah, Dark Souls 3. So, this is Dark Souls 3, where I'll finally get through the DLCs. And once that's over, I'll be allowed to work on Dark Souls 3 challenge runs. That'll probably start around the beginning of the next year. Uh, probably January, February, thereabouts, once I get used to it. Um, and then somewhere around there as well, I want to be hopefully done with this. Which means to be on track for that, we'd have to do a stream a week. Which I don't think you guys are going to complain if we start doing consistent streaming. Uh, something that I should have started doing a long time ago. Who? Uh... But yeah, so those are the four videos. Uh, yes, Dark Souls 2 hexes indeed. only. Non-Souls challenge. Brands, uh, this is Dark Souls 3. And uh, beating Dark Souls and Remastered as man. every starting class. That's the kind of lineup I've got. The if I go absolute gamer mode and blast cross. through all of those, I got some cool ones, but we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens. I just talked a lot. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, what does hexes only mean? So Dark Souls 2, there are four schools of magic. There are sorceries, pyromancies, miracles, and hexes. I have done miracles only and pyromancies only. Uh, next up was hexes only. And then I was gonna do archery only Dark Souls 2 as my next Dark Souls 2 playthrough. But then Lemon <laughs> tells his audience to start asking me for Dark Souls 2 shields only this morning. <laughs> so that might come up next. We'll see what happens. Not that I blame him, it was funny. But yeah. A speed run of cool math games. Oh my god, we really do be Mr. Dump Truck. That the, that the graphics are better on stream than when I played. So, uh, one of the reasons why that might be happening is because what you're viewing right now is not your own system or computer attempting to process the game. It is processing what my OBS, which has really... Not, I should say really high, but like decently high settings on it is outputting to your YouTube and YouTube processes things a lot easier than uh, than your game console, which is why it might look better on my end. Chonkus Malongus. Guess what? What's up, Garrett? Uh, now, a feasible first challenge of any game is shields only. I've beaten all three Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Guess what? You are ahead of me then on the shields only runs. So good job. How you doing, Kyle? I'm doing. I'm doing all right. How you doing, Albatross? Skrillbo, good to see you. You're going to beat Dark Souls 2 as Chad McThunder. I don't know who Chad McThunder is, but I will gladly be him. I can drive. I am scared for the streets. Speaking of people being ahead of me on things, uh, I need to work on that. Yeah, it turns out when YouTube is your job, you don't have a lot of reasons to leave the house. And uh, you end up in the same room for like seven months straight <laughs> and go outside only once every few, uh, few weeks. So I probably should work on driving. Have you seen Lies of P? Not seen a lot about it. Um, I've seen a lot of my fellow Souls tubers been talking about it. I've chatted about it. I've not chatted about it, I should say. I've read uh, chats between... Let's see, who was talking about it? I want to say it was... Actually, my brain is blinking. I don't remember who I was reading again. Oh, the Twin Shield Summon, Mr. Chad Thundercock. 
recently finished all the Souls games. DS3 was my least favorite, but just because I didn't want to do another run imminently after. That's very fair. Uh, I will see what my final verdict on DS3 will end up being after I've put a few. Are you serious? Asylum Demon? Uh, after I've put a few challenge runs into it. Should do challenges on Lies of P. See, I would love to, but there's a problem with doing challenges on Lies of P, which is if I play Lies of P immediately, <laughs> that means that I'm not playing Bloodborne. And then all the people who really want to see me play Bloodborne get probably pretty sad because I'm not playing Bloodborne. Out of there, Rogue. Only in the ancient legends it is. I managed to sub three hour on Nintendo Switch. Hey. One day that's a start. No, uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look up for you. Speedrun.com. I'm not reading chat at the second because I'm looking up something for, the undead for chat. Hold up. In Speedrun.com. Dark Souls remastered. To the land of the ancient uh, lords. Where is any percent glitchless? Any percent Lord glitchless? Time. Hey. Last place is technically four hours and two minutes. So I'm just saying, you could you would be on the leaderboard. Just saying. And it's a lot easier to cut down that time than uh a lot easier to cut down that time than you might think. I would like to be your Bloodborne guide one day. Baldwin, you know that I'll inevitably come to you for Bloodborne stuff. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna do that for now. What about me? Well, I mean, I might come for you guys for Bloodborne stuff, too. We'll see what happens. It's just, you know. Are you going to speedrun Roblox? You know? Something tells me I'm, people might not watch that. I don't know what it is. Also, I've been experimenting with Dark Souls randomizers, which I'd love to do a video on a Dark Souls randomizer sometime soon. And I'm just in randomizer mode, just picking up all the different little items, even though I, I know what they are. Hold your old stream too. Getting that time to Duke skip is so tough. Yeah, Duke skip is. It is certainly one of the tricks of all time. Hey, what's going on here? What? What in the? Okay, apparently we're fighting the God Rat. If Bloodborne was a religion, I would be a priest. Yeah, I feel like that describes uh. A lot of the Souls fan base. How many hours do you have in DS1? I got, I'm gonna be honest, that number is so impossible to track at this point. Because of how many different consoles I have uh, Dark Souls playtime on. That Gino Machino completed the God Run in three. I did not. Little Aggie did some randomized runs. Great way to mix it up. Yeah, Aggie does everything. Demon Souls? Oh, yeah, I did mean to do a Demon Souls challenge, didn't I? Whoops. I'll have to figure out when I'm doing that. I have precisely one completed playthrough of Demon Souls. It's not that I dislike Demon Souls. It's just I don't have the will to play it again. I actually really liked it.
Whoa. Wanna chill there? Sheesh. Where are you from? Because I want to tell you something. Well, I'm living in the big old state of Tejas. Otherwise known as Texas. Uh, see, this is the nice thing about these runs. I don't really have to pay attention. To uh, what levels I'm spending my souls on. Because... It doesn't really matter weapon-wise. I will always have the levels required for my weapon. Can you upgrade your warrior gear? I absolutely can. Which, by the way, is uh, why I grabbed that rubbish. I did that jump across to grab the humanity and the rubbish. The rubbish is important because I can trade it with Snuggly to get a Titanite chunk. Which will make uh, making this long sword of plus 15 a lot easier. Kyle lives in a constant state of mania. <laughs> Maybe depression, too. <laughs> I mean... I'm not going to confirm nor deny either of those, but have you seen how long it takes for me to make videos? <laughs> if you could pick any Souls game to experience for the first time again, what would you pick? So I have two answers for this. Uh, one... Um, Dark Souls 1, because, of course, you would love to experience your favorite again. Um, number two, um, I think I would also like to replay Elden Ring. Um, not that I didn't enjoy streaming it or anything, but I would love to re-experience the game as, like, not a streamer, if that makes sense. Like... Being able to experience the game just in, like, a casual manner rather than approaching everything as a challenge runner. You rarely use that attack. That was interesting. What was that? Whoops. Oh. Ah. Look, guys, what can I say? Parrying is hard in this game. Free chunk? Yep. Elden Ring playthrough is 40 hours casually, now done to 8 or 9 hours. Yeah, that's about where I am at, at the moment. Um, I would eventually like to start learning to run uh, Elden Ring Glitchless. Two large Titanite shards. Nice. Um, but... That was going to take a lot of practice. Like, the first trick in the run is already, like... There are... It is some brutal torrent tech for Glitchless. Which class do you think is going to be the easiest? Probably Bandit. And there. I missed a swing, which is a little awkward. Should have went a little harder to the left there. And it was nice. Time. So this run is probably going to be really casual up until about 
Iron Golem, if I had to guess. But uh, I have a feeling most of these runs aren't going to be too terribly difficult until we get to the DLC. Because <laughs> I am going to do all bosses. Are these streams available as VODs after? Absolutely. If you go to any YouTube channel, there's home videos, and then there should also be a live tab, and you can view any of the live stream VODs. Okay. Um, I would like to spend some time on endurance here because... Uh... Being able to fast roll in this setup is going to be really nice. Which we're actually almost at. If we get either one of the rings or like one more endurance level, we I think we have it. Watch a friend dead tour his team in for hours the other day. Shows there's levels to this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, all remembrances are any percent. Love the sub one hour BHF route. Yeah, um, I'm talking about any percent. Although, glitchless all remembrances could be fun. But I think before I do glitchless all remembrances, I've got to improve my uh, glitchless all bosses DS one time. Because, <laughs> uh, yikes. Uh, it's not very good. Really? What am I, what am I off? Uh, I'm off by 0. 0.6, I think. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well. What do you think is going to be the hardest? That's hard. If I had to... Something about Thief is rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know. That bandit's knife might be the death of me. That should be... I always forget. I want this one. Thank you. We like souls. Souls are good. Deprive sounds worse. Okay. So, don't get me wrong. Deprived probably isn't going to be the greatest. But, the club is actually a very strong weapon. Okay, this should let me fast roll in legs and chest. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. But the bleed is OP. Yes, but it's not going to work on the late game bosses. Um, I, f I fully intend for Bandit's Knife, when I use it, I'm gonna be probably killing, uh, straight even first. Um, just because straight even is so incredibly weak to status effects. Um, but, like... Artorias is probably going to, uh... Artorias is probably going to read me, uh... The Kama Sutra via the language of the sword on that run, so... You can kill at the gate? Yep. Even better, if you want to try to attempt something fun, try to kill the boar with the gate. It will, in fact, one-shot the boar. Pyromancer is the easiest. We'll see. Because I'm not exactly allowed to trade for, like, better pyromancies. So... We'll see what has, uh... We'll see what happens there. Welcome in, Game Master. Welcome in, Simon. I mean, if I was allowed to trade out for different, like spells and stuff, then Pyromancer would probably be super huge. Uh, 
uh, make sure we rest at this one. Uh, did I have any regular tennis shards? I don't think I did. Hold up. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. That. Neat. Raid from press continue. Find getting raided from press continue. Wait, hold up. Wait. Am I getting press? I'm watching you. I appreciate it if you are here. But press. Uh, what are we doing today? We're doing uh some starter class only runs, which. My brain is blanking on what I want to do. Hmm. Just got done streaming. Oh, oh, were you streaming the uh, the DS2 kick run? I think I saw you were doing those. That sounds hilarious. This isn't DS2 shield only. I know. We're going to work on that eventually. Yes, we're coming over from press. Ah, thank you, press. Sorry. Sir, please put down your shield. Thank you. Fun fact, you can parry this guy. You just can't repost. Oh, you want to see it? And hey, it's just going to show off how I can parry you. One of those, uh... One of those weird ones. Is this also no leveling? It is not. Uh, I probably sh should do this at some point with no levels, but... Eh, I just, f just figured I'd do a nice little beginner-friendly challenge. Well. Make that a rule? I think we're about, uh... Let's see. Five... It, uh, 11 levels too late on that one. <laughs> uh. Have you and United Gamer ever spoke about working together on a series or any other content creators? So, first of all, I would, uh, no death run and we have a deal. You know what? I will try my absolute hardest to not die this run. So you're doing a normal playthrough. Yes and Um, so first of all, I love I, I uh my brain is in two billion places today. I'm going to apologize to everyone now on that one. Uh, first of all, I have talked to United Gamer before. Not about actually doing content, but like... He encourages me to do content sometimes. And I really appreciate it. Because I love Dylan. Dylan's great. Um, we haven't talked about actually doing content together. Uh, I would... Don't get me wrong. If we had the opportunity to, I would do it in a heartbeat. Um... Granted, I would probably do that with any of the, uh, of that kind of PokeTuber gang, you know, uh, Dylan, Ryan, Frank, Vinny, um, Brain is not working, uh, Luke, Patters, you know, kind of any of them, I would, I'd be more than willing to work with any of them. Uh, the stuff is, though, that, like, I don't know if and when I did Pokemon content that, people would want to enjoy that if that makes sense um don't get me wrong if people would would love to do that i'd love to have some overlap um because press you didn't see that press you uh, uh, i think your stream's buffering buddy you might need to uh might need to refresh uh I think there's something wrong going on with OBS. Yes, yeah, see, yeah, see, Baron didn't see anything either. Hey, listen, Baron's got great eyes. 
<laughs> Dying is cheating. Oh, this press is going to inscribe on my tombstone. He died. That was pretty cringe. <laughs> yeah, as uh, some people say in Le League of Legends, dying is just a faster recall. It's easy. I mean, that, that's, it's easy logic to follow. <laughs> Yeah, I just fast traveled back to the bonfire via damage. And the damage is what caused the blood stick. Yeah, it's a quicker dark sign, exactly. Listen, believe it or not, in the Dark Souls any percent glitchless run, it is efficient to die. I am not joking. There is a trick in that run where it is efficient to die. Do I have the cojones to go for that strat? Not even remotely, but... Okay, one. Hey, I gave you permission to run. Come on, dude. Yeah, gargoyles are really squishy, by the way. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, plus two longsword, by the way. Can you do Dark Souls 3 Dark Hand Only Challenge? Potentially. Beyond! How you doing, Chief? God, Dream's gonna be... Dream's gonna be so sad. <laughs> How you doing? What bosses have we killed? Uh, Asylum Demon, Gargoyles, and Taurus Demon. I have a feeling we're going to get through a uh, gaping dragon and all of a sudden the bosses are going to get a lot more uh, interesting to fight. Trust. Uh, just a personal theory. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out, Rick. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so what I need to do is go to Homeward Bone, change order. There we go. Who else struggled against the Gargoyles in their first playthrough? Hi, that person is me. It took me like... How long was it before I actually was able to take out the gargoyles? Probably like two hours. Uh, not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Okay, I got what? So that's one, two, three. I need six. Yep. And we have a plus five longsword. So what am I going to need? So let's see. A f that's going to put me at 58, which means 
A fourth of 58 is... Not 58. What am I talking about? 4 times 21.4. That's what I should be looking at. Right? Yeah. 21.4. That's uh, 85.6. Uh, that is substantial for a helmet and some gloves. Good lord. But I, yeah, I guess four times, so 28, yeah. Um, that shouldn't be too bad. Like, we don't know that mage is a thing? So here's the thing. Mage would be the easiest thing. Except... I'm not allowed to change the spells. So all you get is normal soul arrow. Pyro then? Oh, well, maybe. All you get is regular fireball. And the hand axe. And let me tell you, the hand axe is certainly one of the weapons of all time. You can also bonk with a stick as sorcerer. I'm convinced that will be remotely more effective than the dagger in at least one point in the game. Do you at least get more copies of Soul Arrow? Yes, I can get more copies of the basic Soul Arrow, but I cannot get any, like, different spells. Also, mid-air kill. Nice. I don't need the Demon Titanite. I just feel like killing him. Not using the network test classes. I never even played the network tests. I did not purchase fire bombs. I have six regular and five black. That is not going to be enough to kill uh, Moonlight Butterfly. But. Also. That's okay. Also, I should probably uh, do that. But you can upgrade the Pyro Flame to plus 15. True. Just how much damage is a plus 15 Pyro Flame using regular Fireball going to be? No Grass Crest allowed? Nope. Which is going to make four kings slightly annoying, but it happens. Oh, God. That means I have to do normal Bed of Chaos. Oh, gross. Um, you know what? This will be fine. This should be fine. I don't have any resin. Uh, so. Are rings allowed? Yes, rings are allowed. Uh, simply foot because then you wouldn't be able to use the big rings like covenant and chard but then it'd be like well then only use those rings but then it's like what's the point really i mean it adds it adds nice variety to the run ow it, it's simply for the sake of some variety brother got sent to lords of the fallen That's what the, the back room's equivalent of Dark Souls is, right? Lords of the Fallen. <laughs> Snake went straight to Bloodborne. Straight to the Hunter's Dream. <laughs> the Hunter's Dream is the back rooms of the Miyazaki verse. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna freehand these, I think. Probably gonna be easier. Uh oh. 
Whoa. Ow. Don't needles. Thank you. Why are you spamming that? Oh, this is not going to be good. Um, actually, no, we're fine. We're gaming. We're actually a bunch of gamers. Did not need to throw a black one there, but that's okay. Guessing no summons. Correct. That was the sloppiest Moonlight Butterfly I have done of my life. Are enchantments allowed? Yeah. Yeah, they are. This guy plays Dark Souls. See? Uh, we'll just do vitality and endurance for now, and then we'll probably, well, I don't know what scaling is better for longsword, but once we're at a comfortable level, we'll just put in levels into scaling. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I'm going to need... Um, fire bombs? I don't think so. Oh God, I've got to do the ghost house. Uh -huh. I hate in Orlando. Blech. Not in Orlando, sorry, new Londo runes. Oh wait, I can actually go get the uh the rusted iron ring. Yay. Alright guys. This is my favorite time when people are like, yo, can I watch you play Dark Souls on a Discord call? It's like, yeah, sure. They've never played Dark Souls before. They're like, okay, what are you doing now? You see, I'm doing the age-old technique of sitting in this possession for, like, 20 seconds. Because Miyazaki thought it would be really funny that this only happens if you sit here for 20 seconds. Will I ever curl up and become an egg? John Dark Souls cousin to Elden John and John Bloodborne. John Ring. That's an actual quote, but you haven't played Bloodborne. Ah, wow. <laughs> Press hasn't told me to play Elden Ring, or not Elden Ring, Bloodborne in the past 10 days. I was starting to miss it. <laughs> I am just pushing buttons, and they are not the correct buttons. <laughs> you should play Bloodborne. <laughs> it's like Dark Souls, but good. Okay, I just want to say to everybody who knows that the freaking challenge... <laughs> when we were all talking about that, uh, the uh, Backlogs one-shot contest, this was all of my conversations the entire time. Just the rest of the content creators <laughs> telling me to play Bloodborne. 
<laughs> that is so funny. Between that and press calling me a zoomer, I don't know which one made me laugh more. <laughs> yeah, you won't listen. <laughs> Alright, come here, Mr. Black Knight. Come here. Where did you go? Hey! Come back here. I'm not having fun anymore. You guys are having way too much fun with that quote. Alright, here we go. Why won't the Zoomers listen? <laughs> this just did. Zoomers <laughs> won't play Bloodborne. Are you done jumping, Stray? Like... Thirty FPS is too slow for my zoom in brain. All my Disney films are in thirty two frames per second. Where is it? Fun fact, a lot of uh, film and animation is, I believe, it's either 32 or 33 frames per second. I believe it's 32. E? Perhaps I should have obtained a stronger sword before coming down here, but it is just the stray demon. 24. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Animation is 24. Um, film is 32. That's what it is, I think. Right? Is that right? I know 32 is something. It's been a while since I've been in a film class. 24 is right, though. 24 is the, is the animation one. Uh-oh. Most films are 24. Really? Where's my? Where am I pulling 32 then? I'm gonna need to message someone about that. Thank you, Stray. I'm getting like every time I hit the boss I'm doing visible damage that is not a luxury I have a lot of times twenty four is what I got playing Lords of the Fallen yeah yeah let's pull three more frames at the first game Lords of the Fallen, like, really early on in the Xbox One life cycle. 
GX off. Hello, hello, pink. SpongeBob. SpongeBob took 42 Benetrins. Uh. <laughs> Luckily, you don't need a high frame rate to uninstall the game. This has been... This has devolved from me creating any kind of coherent commentary and just me reading other YouTubers talking. I am not complaining. This is just... Uh... For anybody who's wondering what what's going on here, um, Stray Demon has a total of two attacks that he'll do if you're directly behind him. One being this flight attack, which you can just run around behind him in the time it takes for him to stand up. And the other one is this big explosion, which you can gauge the distance by about the tail. About the end of the tail, as long as you're that length away, you don't get hit. So, that's uh. Why? That's why uh, we can just kind of run behind Stray Demon. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So this boss is pretty hard. F Man, I, I I don't know. Remember where it was, but I remember there was like a really old wiki that said something like. Asylum or straight even only had like a 90% chance to drop the Titanite slab. I remember back in like the really old wikis for Dark Souls, there was all kinds of weird stuff like that. Welcome back to uh, Black Knights really don't like the left trigger. I can't find anything about 32 frames per seconds. Maybe you're thinking about Hertz. Maybe. Maybe every time I say the words fun fact, we should just never trust everything after those words again. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up. Maybe day one release version of the game? Doubt it. Yeah, I also doubt it. This is just, I just remember a lot of, like, the old wikis <laughs> had, like, really jank stuff on them. Source, I made it up. Yeah, one dude couldn't find the Titanite slab, and they were like, I don't know. I just, I guess it's a drop rate. I, I don't know where it could have gone. Hello, Lemon. Elden Beast heals from Holy. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mick Steve Barry. You know, I went up to kill uh, Lemon's avatar up here because I was thinking to myself, man, I could really use the crest shield. And then I remembered the video I'm doing.
Lemon probably feels a bit sour now. Press, we're all judging you. Just letting you know. Yeah, <laughs> look at the AI go. <laughs> it's really thinking about it. I can't be buried if I don't attack. True. Ow. <laughs> he saw what happened to the other guy and was weighing his options. I don't want to lose my souls. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, Press, I think you might need to refresh your stream, buddy. Do you want to talk about it now? <laughs> mm. Mm. What's Mr. Gamer's Weekend having to drink? At the moment, Dr. Pepper. Before then, water. And before then, coffee. Yeah, no, the dark sign is just, like, really nice in that situation. Because, um... Yeah. You know. Trade rubbish. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Pepper gross. Huh? Why am I skipping the cutscenes? I need this for footage. Hold up. Okay. You mean Texas water? You, you, give me soft, give me warm. Yo, thank God future installments made it so these, uh... You didn't have to quit out of the game for this. Does starting equipment include rings and stuff? Indeed it does. You, you, you. Can I interest you in Frisco with whiskey? Why did I skip the... Whatever, it's fine. All like your challenge videos? I like the challenges and I've done some of them. I hope you had fun doing them. And I hope you also feel as if you got better at the game and have a sense of accomplishment after doing them because you should feel accomplished. You're a gamer. Ah. Did you grab the doll? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. Okay, where is that by three? That's also by three. It's probably gonna go up in strength, if I had to guess. 
He might be a gamer, but is he a weekend? I got exposed, bro. What, how you gotta do that to me? How you, you really gonna come in here and do that to me? And expose me for not being a day of the week? Really? Really? You know how long, how long I, I managed to keep that charade up for? Gonna jump off and play your own game for a while. Have fun, David. I wish you luck. Kyle Saturday. Insert last name. Good luck on your run. Thank you so much. And good luck on your run. I bet you're gonna throw a fireball. I'm in your head. Oh, God. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. See, this is fine. Look, and grabbed by the ghoulies, we would call this a difficulty tweak. For Baron Impress, which means that you have no new videos. <laughs> True. That'll get fixed soon, though. Hexes only. We're, it's uh, Hexes only DS2 is coming, and then after that... Do you mind, sir? Wait a second. Hold up. That wasn't in the script. Uh, be gone with you. You call this resisting arrest? We call this a difficulty tweak. Ah. The regular upload fan versus the quarterly video enjoyer. True. There's a very important thing I have to remember to do with this boss. And that is, I have to buffer a roll as the cutscene ends, so that way I don't stand there for three quarters of a second like an idiot. Rum and Coke over Dr. Pepper? I don't think I've actually had rum and Coke. I have had tequila and Sprite. Oh wait. I got it. I'm literally gaming. I am literally the rolliest of all time in that exact sec like exact frame. Excuse me, bro. I gotta go. Uh... Spawn right next to you. That works. Uh oh. Ow. Ah! Thank you for the 14. I appreciate it. Also, I'm, if I die to pinwheel, I mean, it'll probably generate more comments for the video because people are going to laugh at me, but. Ah! Ah! I didn't upgrade my Estes flask, I just realized. Will you come back here? Death to pinwheel means restart. I am not agreeing to that. Considering how bad this has gone already. I had a feeling. Okay, he's phase twoing. Oh. Okay, this is fine. Bonk.
Literally the easiest boss of all time. I wasn't even close to dying. Um. Also, child. Damn it. All right, whoever bet a hundred bucks on Mother, uh, congrats. You uh, get to keep your hundred bucks. Easy, Mother. Pinwheel has a phase two? I mean, it's kind of. He just summons, like, a bunch of clones when he's at really low health. Bosses kinda have a phase two. True. Actually, I'm gonna come down here. So there's a chance. Not the Black Knight. Nope, we're good. Hate it when my left doesn't get an input. When do we make Dark Souls 2 Sorcerer Only Challenge? Uh, Hexes Only is almost done. I just gotta do, um,. The voiceover and then edit it and then uh at some point we'll do sorcery only although there's some other dark souls 2 challenges that probably are going to take a uh, front seat before then i should upgrade my estus flask also what's the freaking speedrun tech you go shebang have you seen saxophone pope does not sound familiar The canon death. Listen, Lortrek dying is a canon event. I've never seen Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse uh, things, but I'm sure I'm using that correctly. Okay, I should probably actually go to... Uh Hey, Apra Demon. Gonna go to the Capra Demon, yeah. Oh, I should probably reset the recording, actually. Uh, a boinkus, a boinkus. So that way, when the final video gets made, it doesn't look like a potato. It just means I'll never use 90% of the rings in the game. I was the same way um, until I realized that I don't use 90% of the rings in the game. And then it was like, wait, so then why don't I just use that? Also chat. I'm gonna make a deal with you, all right? Y'all asked me what the non-Dark Souls challenge run after, uh, after Hexes Only is going to be. And while I won't guarantee what the challenge is, I will make a deal with you. If I see the like counter on this stream hit 120, I will tell you what game it is. That's uh, Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, sure. No. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> desert bus <laughs> walking only. Is it Hoonie Pop? Okay, here's the funny thing. I am actually tempted for April Fools one year to do a Hoonie Pop tier list. I think that would be very funny. Non Dark Souls or non From Soft? Non From Soft. <laughs> Doing a challenge run on Mario Wonder before it even comes out. Not that I'm going to stop doing FromSoft challenges. That's still going to be the main content of my channel, but I'd like to do challenges in other games as well, because... They're fun. I like doing fun. The Adventures of Cookies and Cream. Can I beat Sticker Star while having fun? The Barbie horse game. It is not the Barbie horse game, although... Maybe as an homage to certain YouTubers, I'll play it one day. Can I not? There we go. Just gotta angle it correctly. Four, three, two, one. Damn it, I was angled too far to the left. Oh, right. Uh, the RuneScape challenge. Right. Um, my rant that I was going to go on. Cool. All right. Jagex, I know you will never see this video because you have nothing to do with Dark Souls. But I just want to say, just was going to say. I was gonna do a whole RuneScape challenge about doing things without questing and then you done gone introduce two more bosses that I have to complete quests and a lot of them to kill. So I'm just saying, if that video ever does see the light of day, just know it was incredibly more delayed because of what you did. That being said, Necromancy was an extremely fun release. But I just want you to know, the existence of Alpha and Omega makes trying to get Reaper crew without ever touching a quest very hard. I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad at you, if that makes sense. I know that made sense to a total of two people on stream right now. But, maybe I'll still get Reaper Crew without doing quests. We'll see what happens. I did not, uh, listen, I can explain. Actually, that dog saved me. Neat. Also, as long as I stay right here, the other dog's not going to bother me, so... Jump. Thank you. Neat. I really like the mood of the Capra Demon fight. Once you get past the dogs, it really feels like you're trapped in a small room with a man who wishes you harm. I just really like the setting. Uh, I really like the setting of being trapped in a small room with a man. Who means me harm? 
Uh, okay, I actually need the large ember, so this is gonna be a little awkward, but it'll be fine. And then we come over to the left corner. Oh. Okay, the dog stopped in a weird spot. Usually he's not right there, but. Are you doing all bosses? We are. Which means we will be doing the DLC. I really like the setting of being trapped inside a small room with a man. Glad we had that conversation. I don't, yeah, I don't think it was on your end. I think it was on my end. I don't know what it was though. Kill the usurper thing? But I don't want to kill Kirk. It means I have to kill Kirk, but I don't want to. That means I have to rest at a bonfire. And I don't want to do that. Did I use my firebomb? Oh, right. I threw it. Oh, right, these things. Okay, these rats are the strongest enemies in Dark Souls history. Don't at me. The stream is stuttering. What? What? Is it better? Okay, it's fine now. Okay. If it happens again, someone let me know and I can restart OBS or something. Is fine? Okay. Give me Trident. I didn't actually want it. I just think that'd be really funny for content. The lag is real. Okay, if you're still getting stutters, it sounds like maybe it potentially uh, refresh your stream and it should be fine. I don't know what on my end decided to freak out to cause it to start in the first place, but it sounds like it's better now for most people. What a great weekend for gamers. Now we got JK in here. We got B and JK, Barons, Press. We just got the whole squad. Your FBI agent joined the stream. I eat some weight. I want gold pine resin because it's very nice. Kill him? No. Can you do a challenge where you kill the minimum bosses possible? So I feel like the only time where that would be interesting is if it was a very glitched run and I don't know, maybe. <laughs> well. You guys should do all do a multi-video collab challenge idea. 
I bet that won't take several months to fully plan out. Yeah, and there will be zero complications the whole time. Nothing weird will happen the entire time. We'll all be on the same page, and uh, nothing bad will happen. No complications. It'll be the smoothest process ever. <laughs> Catalyst has a minimum bosses video. Yeah, well, Catalyst is also handsome, so I don't know what you want from me. Nobody will accidentally delete all the footage, I'm sure. Demonetize. What's in the gaping dragon pit? A uh, dragon scale. I think. Gaping dragon's tail stump is making me strangely hungry. Baron never changed. Well, he is British. Jeez. Make delicious Dragon King Great Axe stock. All right, everyone's been begging for the Gamers Weekend Cooking Channel. Time to make gaping dragon dish on the Gamers Weekend Cooking Channel. I need large Titanite shards. I have three. Right? Three? Three. Um. Yeah, I, I should just wait until Crestfallen Merchant. I can get plus seven at Andres, which means I can also get Crest of Artorius. Yeah, this, I think this is the play. I did not unlock the shortcut for the female undead merchant. I have committed stupid. Dragon steak sounds like it'd be delicious. I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of, is gamey the right word? I feel like that's the right word. We haven't 
killed Havel yet. Incredibly tough, but tastes delicious. I can see that. I didn't buy the crest. I should do that. I could be. Well. Yes, what am I doing? I am. I am made of stupid. upgrading anything else okay, at the moment I don't think so kill him and take the crest I kind of need him this run otherwise I would What do we reckon the best tasting non-human souls boss is? Well, first of all, I hope the best tasting souls boss is non-human. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to have to recommend you to Nexpo. Uh, secondly... See, I almost want to say Ancestor Spirit, but Ancestor Spirit is like so old... Covetous demon? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like demons are... Okay. I don't know why my brain just did this, but my brain just told me that demons probably taste like catfish. I don't know why my brain just made that connection, but... Horse demon is premium beef. True. Hey. Hold up. All right. Some y'all being nasty. What's wrong with catfish? I like catfish. I didn't. There's nothing wrong with catfish. It's just kind of my first, uh,. Kind of my first uh, gut in. <laughs> kind of my first guttural reaction, you know? Okay. Covetous Demon would make great crispy pork. Okay, hear me out. Covetous Demon bacon. up and take my money yeah baron knows what's up oh yeah smelter demon probably doesn't take like anything because he you know he's made of freaking steel but haram did i miss haram haraminator I don't know. I feel like that's still too close to human for me. No, bacon is haram. Oh, gotcha. Marinated and poison. True. You, if you were to eat, like, the snake part... What? Where did we get... <laughs> What is... 
how it started. Guys, I think I got sick. How it ended. So what would Quaylag taste like? Y'all are on something today. <laughs> and we can't show those parts. I don't make the rules, YouTube does. The spider part. You know, th that does bring up an interesting question. I know there are some like really like weird snacks around the world. Are there any societies that actually like eat monkey? Yo, so uh, I think the stuttering's back, guys. So I went ahead and uh, went back to uh, Andre for you. Um, who is texting me right now? I swear. This is fine. It's a good thing you didn't sit in any bonfires. I did that on purpose, because it was going to be all the way back up there, and it was going to be fine and dandy and on purpose, and... I have an idea. But yeah, the Republic of Congo eats monkey. Interesting. Because... I know there was a show that I was watching, um, where they were... Showing off how in, I don't remember what country it is, but there is a country where um, there are these massive spiders called Goliath bird eaters. Um, you could probably guess why they're called bird eaters. You can probably guess their size based on that. Um, and these people just catch them and eat them. I don't think it's Australia. Something in my mind is saying it's somewhere in South America. But it might be Australia. Um. You know, there's like, but, so, point being, there's like all kinds of animals that like, you'd never think about being like a snack food. Uh, and then just randomly, you'll you heard of, like, people that are just like, yeah, no, we just eat spiders as, like, an afternoon snack. And it's like, that's interesting. Is the audio weird for anyone else? If the audio is weird, I'm going to throw this controller literally nowhere, but still be kind of upset. In Japan, they eat giant hornets. Hmm. Interesting. Not weird for me. I mean, it's like... What's the right way to put it? It's not like weird, weird. It, it's more so just like... It's interesting, you know? Oh, you mean the audio. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what you meant. Yeah. Uh. No, don't, no, 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 don't worry. That was... That was my brain completely uh, lapsing in judgment as it does every moment of every day. Uh, you're fine. 
I would be down to eat a chocolate covered spider. Hmm. It's all good, gave me a giggle, cool, cool. They eat giant spiders for shamanic purposes. Ooh, that's interesting. Be American and go full-blown deep fried. All right, chat, I've been learning to cook more and more. And I gotta say, making deep fried food is the most fun I have cooking. I love making deep fried food. One hundred percent frying is fun. Oh yeah, I want to get better at frying. Um. So one of my mods who is not here at the moment, uh. Everybody probably knows him at this point, my man Dream. Uh, he recently introduced me to the concept of deep fried tomato slices, which I've not made yet. And the next time I'm frying, I'm gonna try making some of those. I'll get back to you, chat, on how that is, but sounds really good. Um. But man, I'm telling you, I got, I've got, i got uh, a jar of pickle chips in the fridge. And I am, mm. It's been a while since I've had some fried pickles. Just saying. Also, that is really good damage. Like, I am very pleased with this. Not pleased with the damage I'm taking, as you can probably imagine. Not tempting that. Long spew? Thank you. The shared love is loves of Texans and Scottish people for everything deep fried. Hell yeah. Sounds amazing. Yeah, deep fried tomato sounds really good. Also, fun fact. Uh, if you chuck on a silver serpent's ring... Before the souls pop into your inventory, you still get the uh, the soul boost. It's a real easy way to get some bonus souls. All right, two bells down. So far, so good. Uh, I have a feeling Ornstein and Smo, because we're not even near plus 15. Uh, I have a feeling Ornstein and Smo probably aren't going to be too bad. Uh, Four Kings will probably be the tiniest bit of sketchy, but will probably be okay. Um, I imagine Sif is going to be fine. Seath is going to be a cakewalk. Um... Bed of Chaos certainly exists. And uh, who am I missing? Nito. Uh, Nito is probably going to be not too bad as well. If I had to gander. Always go full stupid and go glass cannon mill. Uh, and uh, 
We're gonna come over to kill Ceaseless real quick. Which, by the way, I still get questions to this day on why I do the fast kill for Ceaseless when I don't allow glitches. For anybody who may be wondering, like who, who may not know, this is not a glitch. This is, in fact, an in-game mechanic. Because he is so angry that you touched the person's body that he jumps after you. Hey, three more likes away from uh, finding out what, what game we're doing on that. Uh... I don't understand the question. It's not a glitch. You would think that is an easy thing to understand, but some people have questions. That's his sister. It's kind of rude to take her clothes. True. Hey, 124. What did I say? Did I say 120? I think I said 120. 125 works for me. All right. So, uh, that, that game that, uh, is non souls that I'm doing a challenge run in. Five, six, seven. Uh, I uh, may or may not have been recommended to do a certain challenge from a game called XCOM Enemy Within by a certain sour fruit. So uh, we're in the middle of doing that right now. And it has been... <laughs> Very stressful. <laughs> uh, and for people who may be wondering why XCOM challenges are uh, weird. Uh, XCOM is a completely randomized game. Uh, so, I got no way of planning for certain things, and if I don't properly complete a certain mission, the whole run, the whole save file gets deleted. So that's not stressful at all. Yes, guys, Grapefruit recommended XCOM to me. when life gives you back locks. <laughs> Explosives only? Handguns only? Who knows? Also, welcome to Sen's Fortress. It's, uh... It's a really neat area. I want to know, though. We'll find out. Don't worry. Hi. Bye. Also, uh, this is a fun thing you can do. So, yeah.
That always surprises someone new every time whenever I do it. I put deep. Brother, can you get out of the way? Thank you. Thank you. Right on time. And uh, that sends Fortress. The perfect timing of not actually timing axe swings. Exactly. Watch out for Jeremy the chest. He hugs a bit too much. Okay, um, let's see. I've done three, which means... Wait. Nothing at all. I don't need to buy anything from you. You're useless. Go away. Also, I have forever changed the way I've looked at that merchant after consumables only, which if you've not watched consumables only Dark Souls 1, Highly recommend it. The longest boss fights I've ever had to do ever in history. At least in Dark Souls history. That I've had to do. It was a... Uh, you want to go watch what kind of pain an hour and four minute long Calamite fight looks like? Yeah, it's uh... Uh-huh. They tried to report Jeremy to HR, but it didn't take. <laughs> so what is the challenge? So this is the first of 10 runs where we're only allowed to use the gear gifted to us by our starter class. Exception being rings. That's gonna hit me. No face cam? Not at the moment. I might turn it on at some point, but for now, I'm enjoying just sitting here and chilling. You can upgrade the gear though, right? Indeed. Brother, why are you blocking arrows? That was almost the double parry. For the world's first consumables only? I'm sure other people have done it. Uh... Get you, Why aren't you wearing the helmet or gauntlets? Uh... Because they make me roll slow. No other reason. I mean, I could use the helmet now, I think. Yeah. Gauntlets, though, is probably a little too much. Yeah, it is. So I can use the helmet. But I also like my haircut, so maybe I should... No, helmet's better. Lemon did firebomb. Oh, yeah. Lemon's like the firebomb only guy. Firebomb Academy and all that. Bye. Have a good time. Ow. Hear me out. I'm listening. Tell me why.
I just like to say, Skylar, I saw your message that said fast roll, and my brain instinctually pressed the roll button. So I hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> I'm afraid of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Tell me why. That's the point of the challenge though. You have to wear them or is that going against it? I mean, the only problem, I, I mean, it's not like I have to wear them. Um, the idea is more so just like using what you're given. You're a machine? That's true. Because I don't have any feelings left anymore. I really should have gotten charcoal pine resin. Because, uh... Actually, that's not too bad. Actually, wait. Brother, why are you over there? Come here. I gotta walk, so that way... I'll stay at just the right distance. Okay, cool. Ah. The only machine in this community is Gino Machino. What about, um... Oh my god, what's his name? What about Squillakilla? Skull kill is good. Catalyst. And... Uh... Schweppes. And Toki. And... Hold on, I'll think of the other ones. That's not going to make you fall. That's depressing. I should have bought green herbs. What challenge is this? This is one of ten. The warrior is the first one on the list. Pivots. There we go. It's very late, but you're going to fly? No, we're just going to go. Imagine Deprived. Oh, yeah, that's what Deprived is going to be. Yep, you got it. It's going to be club. A lot of club. Hitting things with a club. And that's it. But it's probably not going to be the worst. Because the club's actually a pretty good weapon. Definitely didn't follow through. Yeah, I think eventually I'll do this with Elden Ring. Uh... But, actually, maybe I should do that sooner. So, fun fact, for people who are wondering where Briar Armor is, I just don't think I'm good enough at that game yet. I need to get better at it. Is there any Dark Souls challenge that you would never do? Probably fists only, because that sounds incredulously boring.
I could have also gone to plus 15 before I came here, but... Not if it's Dark Souls 2 Fists. Well, if it's DS2, then I don't really mind, but... I would be down to do the uh, Pyromancy Glove Punch only. What's the upgrade of your weapon? It is plus 10. Which isn't bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Double 30 is probably fine. And do I have enough to use gloves? That's going to be... Hold on. I do not. I need two more endurance levels in order to use gloves that fast roll. The warrior run. This is the run of only the warrior starting class. Where I'm only allowed to use this stuff. The stuff that the warrior class gives me. Also, welcome to my least favorite room on uh, speedruns. I absolutely hate this room. Because painting, guardian... RNG is this. The stream description does indeed have rules for the run. Thank you, Mo. Yeah, I am the same, Baron. It is every time I'm doing. Every time I'm doing a, a speed run, I hate doing it, Armando. It's so, so. Oh wow! The elegance of that jump. Oh, I didn't stay for the extra second. Whoops. This might get a little messy. Okay, no, he decided to fly. Are you going to do the other classes in the same stream? No, that is, it might be a downside, but on the upside, uh, we're going to be doing streams for every single class. Do you stream often before this? No, hopefully because of this challenge, it'll cause me to stream much more often because I like spending time with you guys, but it's just kind of hard to work up the motivation to do things a lot of the time. Can you make it chaos and lightning? I could. Um, I typically like to just use resins on a standard weapon, though, because I think it's, uh, I like the additive damage. <laughs> Virgil intensifies. Blech. Um, when we are done with all of the classes, we're going to make one big video where uh, there's going to be an edited down version of all the runs in one big video. At least that's the current plan. I'm glad you're enjoying Frozen Steel. I do appreciate you coming and hanging out. And uh, you picked a good time too, cause uh, it's uh, it's time for the uh, you know the. Uh... You going to rank them? Absolutely. From uh, I'm gonna rank them as which one's the easiest, which one's the hardest. You really like editing, don't you? I actually don't mind editing, believe it or not. The worst part for making videos for me is actually writing the script. Um, script writing is actually the part that I am, is like my least favorite part of making videos. Editing, I can binge edit, like, real, like, as some people in chat, as my witness, 
there have been times where I'll go on like, I will edit for like 30 plus hours in one sitting. Yeah, press agrees with me. It, it's the script writing that gets you. I felt a little bad if I missed your stream. Is that you're all good? Will you stream tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow? No, I have a Call of Cthulhu game tomorrow. Your scripts always turn out really good, though. First of all, I appreciate that. Uh, second of all, I spend a lot of time on them, so I hope so. Um, I, I spend... Scripts actually probably take the longest for me, just because it's... I don't know. I, I probably work on a script for somewhere around, like, one to two hours, and then... It... Well, my brain just can't. What class do you think the toughest to get through will be? Probably Thief. Cool. You're there. Okay. He's just to the left. Okay, so three for Stagger. Should have dodged in. The damage that I'm taking actually is totally fine. I had a feeling you would. So basically what I'm doing here, chat, is my way is I like to manage Smo in a way to where I'll kind of bait him into attacking. And then based on what his attack is, that is how I'm basing how my movement around Ornstein. So that's a jump. And I'm also trying not to let myself get attacked straight on from Ornstein because he has a couple combos that are deadliest when you're directly ahead of him. So I'm kind of trying to play to Ornstein's side while manage managing Smo's moves. So that's a fine move to attack on because I knew I was out of range for that. This will stagger and So that's how I do Ornstein though. That's my way of managing the fight. Um, it does take like a little bit of knowledge of how their moves go on. But once you get through it, it's actually... Uh... Once you actually kind of get used to the patterns of Mo, it... it's a pretty easy strat to play out. And it does take like just some awareness of what both bosses are doing. Too. I should have just shielded that. That was my bad. Probably going to get a charge here. Yeah, nothing too bad. And nice and easy. I did unfortunately take a big hit at the end there, but aside from that, that wasn't too bad. Uh, 
I needed this. And that'll probably be it for endurance. I've got a lot of endurance, and I should be able to fast roll with gold hem. Or not gold hem, sorry, warrior set, hard leather. Cool. Uh, what is this run about? This run is a whole lot about uh, using only what the warrior class gives you. And then uh, after this, at some point, we're going to move on to the knight class and go all the way down the 10 starting classes and beat the game as each. And yes, all bosses. Um, okay. I was just thinking of somewhere that I needed to warp, but I don't remember what I was thinking. Hmm. I should go back to Undead Merchant here. So I could potentially get some throwing knives and firebombs. I am going to kill Guinevere. Or at least her image, only because that will... Uh, that's going to make getting to Gwendolyn easier. Girlfriend wants to hang out, so hopping out. Tune back in if you're go still going later. Peace out. You have a nice time, Albatross. And by the way... Tell your girlfriend I said hi. Also, have fun. You better have fun. Have you gotten all the achievements? Not only have I gotten all the achievements in Dark Souls 1, but I did a live stream where I... Nice arrow. Where I got all the achievements in Dark Souls 1 in one sitting. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube streams only carry on for so long, so we had to break it up into, like, two videos, but it's all, like, one sitting, if that makes sense. If you want to look for it, uh, under the live section on my channel, it is the Gamers Weekend Super Stream. Uh, I also did the same thing with Elden Ring, which took considerably longer because we were goofing off. And, uh, before someone asks when DS2... It might actually happen. I'm not saying it will, but I'm saying I might be able to do it. She said hello. Yes. Um, okay. We can go place Lord Vessel first. Okay, next up is uh, probably bonus boss cleanup. Uh, actually, wait. I should go get very large ember. Yeah, I, I should go get very large ember and make a plus 15 longsword. I skipped another cutscene. The freaking falling cutscene. Ugh. It's midnight here, so I'm going to go to bed. Have fun and a good run. Thank you, Baron. You have yourself good sleep. I don't know what sleep is, but whatever it is, I hope you enjoy it. Because DS1 is glitched and didn't count it, and I'm not going to do that again. If you still have the save file, um, you might be able to just, like, drop your... Make sure you have everything. Just make sure you, like, drop your weapons and everything. And just, like, pick them back up again. And that might actually fix it. It do That does tend to happen in Elden Ring. 
Or, like, put them in, like, a bottomless box and take them back out again. Can you put weapons in bottomless box in this game? Huh. Also, I don't know if I said uh, goodnight to you already, but... See you later, Cringebury. Does Pyromancer come with a proper weapon, or is it just Pyroglove? Pyromancer has the hand axe, which is not a very great weapon. Uh, Chamber of the Princess. And it disappeared right off the ground. I don't know why I did that. Hello, what the hell is a warrior run? Well, uh, yes, you know the warrior class? You can only beat the game with the stuff that class gives you. And then, uh, not too long after that, we'll do the class after that. And then the, the, the next one, and uh, seven more times until we're done. And there you go. I am Horalu. Warrior! Oh, right, you two. Oh no, please don't hurt me! Ah! I'm just an innocent warrior who can only use his starting class. Ow. Ow! Y'all know that shit hurts, right? Uh, I am allowed to level up, yes. Ah! That was painful. Ow. Alright, you know what? Range. What are you two doing? This thing can parry? Really? Why didn't you roll attack? Eh. Stop it, you're exposing how bad at this game I really am. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, right? These freaking Dark Moon people are just playing with my feelings. They're pulling the they're pulling the same they're they're, they're trying to impersonate my ex-girlfriend by just giving me mixed messages all the time and not telling me whether or not this is actually a fight or if we're really just like doing a weird I don't know. Six thousand. Oh yeah, cause yeah, I'm dumb. That would be five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Do 
You need me to get you some fried Dr. Pepper? Okay, but, oh, hear me out. If you froze it. So it was you, was it? How... Oh my god, what an incredible, what an incredible battle. Do you see that, guys? We were, we're having the battle of a lifetime there. Battle for the ages, right? And weird invisible platform thing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now I gotta hope I don't die to Gwendolyn, otherwise I get big sad. Because I'll have to run all the way up into Duke's archives to warp back here. Because that's a mechanic I gotta deal with. Uh, are we still at... Okay, cool. Thankfully, Gwendolyn isn't too difficult. But this boss does manage to kill me all the time, so. First thou offended the godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. I am the dark son of Gwendolyn. Let the atonement Hey, I haven't committed any felonies in at least the last 10 minutes. Probably never, but I can guarantee I have it in the last 10 minutes. Hmm, I'm not gonna be greedy. Okay, pull out your bow. Thank you. So when Glendolyn pulls out their bow, uh, that's when you have the most time to attack them. So anybody who's ever had a bad time fighting Gwendolyn, if you see the swarm of orbs, you go to the pillar. If you see a bow, you zigzag. And because they are currently on a bow, I have the best window to approach. And big orb, you can either roll through it or to the side. And this is gonna suck because I got stuttered there, but. Hey, you have yourself a lovely night exit game. gonna chill here because I want him to switch to bow. There we go. Uh, 
Add bow, wait for it to go up. There we go. Oh, nice and easy first try. Swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. From watching videos about it rather than playing or watching it, the weirdest things are surprising me, like how young Gwendolyn sounds. Yeah, I don't know how old Gwendolyn is supposed to be. I am mad. I am mad, actually. This is going to sound weird, but Gwendolyn's either like 20 or 30 something or like hundreds of years old and there's little in between. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen anything lore-wise for Dark Souls. I should get back into lore stuff. First time in a while watching DS1 getting the urge to replay it? Hey, every playthrough is always different. Expansive maze of all kinds of areas. Jump scare. Time for this expansive maze of an area that will surely take hours. Hours of trying to navigate. When you get to the maze, are you allowed to use stronger spells? No. I can only use the regular soul arrow. All right, let's see if I can do this first try. It's been a while since I've tried it. Neat. So I will say that I will probably have more than 30 casts because I am allowed to pick up additional copies of Soul Arrow. Which, by the way, I'm killing the dragon here because I can. Uh, yeah, I can absolutely get more copies of the same spell. Can you breathe this way? Okay. Oh, we're going to be here for a while. Breathe this way. Yeah, so this is uh, Undead Dragon Strat. Oh, God, he breathed there. Oops. If you're a little too slow getting up here, sometimes he'll breathe to the side anyway. Which is fine. You just drop down anyway. Also, that was a plunging attack. 
May have been a little slow there. Time for people in the comment section. That one guy who's gonna be like, "But Kyle, hitting the but the dragon's a glitch. Hit the the dragon butt because the coding and the I don't care. It's it, it I don't. <laughs> it, I don't." Hello, Priscilla. I agree. Ah, oh, there you are. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Please don't do that again. That works. I meant to get plus 15 before I did these areas. Not that I need your tail, but it's fun, I think. That's the definition of fun, right? the dagger. So, yeah, if you hit Priscilla with an arrow or a throwing knife, you can just track where she is like this. I forgot I had throwing knives. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. A, uh, it's a pretty easy way to uh, track Priscilla. Poor peaceful Priscilla. You're mad, true. <laughs> souls are souls. All bosses run is all bosses run. I don't that that. But well, sometimes it just do be like that. An after edit for the memes? Yeah. You should simply fail the run.
we'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna go finish the Elden Ring Platinum. Only need one of the endings. I just haven't had the motivation to do it. Just get it done. It's not too bad. You got this. segment of the game is probably coming up here which is New Londo Runes uh cause I gotta do the ghost house and cause I don't have a bow actually can I substitute the binoculars for a bow would that work you sorry fool you cannot be the cho- I've never tried this. Because theoretically, this should work. Upgrade your weapon first? That's what I'm working on. Do you intentionally say fragrant branch of boar wrong every time? What do you mean? No, that's just as for us, right? Yes, yes I do. Why is Frampt mad? Because I placed the Lord Vessel without siding with anyone. So Frampt and Kath are both mad at me. Like, theoretically, I should be able to... I have a firekeeper soul that I need to spend. Because with the bow, you're able to get the correct angle for firebombs. So theoretically with... We're going to try this. It might take me a minute to get the angle, but... Do you still get the same ending if they hit you? Yep. The ending of the game you get has nothing to do with uh, what you do with the serpents. You can still get Dark Lord and never talk to Kath once. God, that strat is so sick. I love when it works. Okay, theoretically speaking. Oh my god, it's actually working. So basically the strat here is the binoculars let you look higher. Being able to aim will let you look higher than you normally would be allowed to, which lets you get firebombs up to where Ingward is. Firebombs aren't part of the warrior class, are they? No, but firebombs do count as a gift. So... I'm allowing them. That is really neat that that works. I'm very happy about that. All 
All right, cool. So uh, it turns out Ghost House won't be too much of a problem. <laughs> And I could go directly to four. No, I couldn't go directly to four kings. I haven't killed Sith yet. So we gotta run around and get some chunks. And uh... once we got some chunks, we uh. Get ourselves a nice big ember. We make a plus 15 weapon, which I believe we need four chunks. There are two in chests. So hopefully we can get two drops. Technically, you could go directly to the Four Kings. You just wouldn't like the end result. That's true. Wait, the black one's counting up the normal firebombs. Okay, it does it really matter. <laughs> I just consumables are fine. We'll just put it that way. That way I can use dung pies when I get to bandit. Ah. Besides, it'll be uh, fun to show new people the power of consumables. Run failed, they say. Okay, that's one chunk. Gotta get one more. Actually, wait. If I go right here, yep. Ow. Why didn't you think of everything everyone would nitpick about? Listen. The Great Consumable Rebellion. hate to see a YouTuber save himself from fail to save himself from nitpicks. Listen, man, we just we try our best. Ah. A standard war. Gentlemen, I do not like war. I love war. Take for example. If you know that reference, good on you. Gross? What's gross about war? Okay. Oh, don't take that out of context. Wait, there's a lot of things gross about war. Hold up. Wait, hold up. Hold up. 
Hold on, wait. I didn't mean it. Cancelled! Ah, oh, shit. That guy really just dropped two Titanite chunks, huh? Wait, that means I only need to get this one then. Right? Or am I doing the dollar store good stuff again? I should only need this one, right? Everyone always hating on war. What did they do, right? They just be chilling in wars or tree, handing out life refreshes. And uh... I think Gamers Weekend should make an, an anime of himself beating Dark Souls in the most wrong way possible. Listen, I'd like to think people would watch the Gamers Weekend anime. But its uh, protagonist kind of sucks. It's seven, right? I'm not stupid. I mean, I'm mostly stupid, but it's seven, right? I'm banking on seven. You're a white boy with crazy hair. You're the ideal shonen pro tag. Okay, this is actually, this is a fun one. So, did you know that in Japan, they actually like perceive most of the characters as Asian in anime? Even though a lot of like white people perceive them as white, a lot of like Asian people perceive them as Japanese. It's just kind of an interesting thing where like, Kind of the local areas perceive them as, uh, you know, different whatnot. <laughs> the fuck have I arrived to? <laughs> Listen. Oh my god, I was right. It was seven. It's just a fun little interesting fact. Okay, so that's four now. Okay, they're both four. Right? Yeah, okay. So they're both gonna scale, ideally. I mean, yeah, sure, Phantom, but like, it, it's just like, it's interesting that just the perception is, you didn't do plus 15? I have no way to zoom in on what I'm currently doing, so I, I was going to zoom in on it, but, you know, I don't, I don't have that power for some reason. Also, we're the recording. 34 minutes? Cool. That's fine. Uh, we've got plus 15. So now all of our damage comes from scaling. At this point, we gotta take out lords. Uh, I guess while we're here, we can go kill Sif. I don't think there was a conclusion to what Quaylag tastes like, although I would probably reckon it probably tastes spicy, given the fire. I'm 
Spicy barbecue, indeed. Do DLC first, then Sif? I'm not a totally opposed. Ah! Okay, I'm not totally opposed to the idea, but then I gotta actually kill things in the DLC. And saving Sif is like a whole thing. That would take me probably like five minutes. And that's five minutes I don't know if I wanna spend. <laughs> Save him. Listen. Do I look like the noble knight? Or do I look like a warrior? Is it not so? Is it not so that thou art new? Save puppy. Oh, I'm about to save the puppy from something. I think I'm about to save Puppy from heat death of the universe. Where are those other mushrooms? Where are those children? But Sif is a good doggo? No, Sif makes my Xbox lag. I will, listen. The Noble Knight may indeed save the pupper. But the Bloodthirsty Warrior. Look. Y'all are the ones who named the warrior Sir Dumpy. Y'all think Sir Dumpy is a stand-up citizen? Really? You think Sir Dumpy is spending their time doing charity work? Dumpy's on at least like three watch lists. Sir Dumpy do be eating that Estes cake. True. Sith, please just come here. Thank you. You monster. Listen. I need the crest. Or the covenant. Or whatever it's called. Aren't we all on a watch list somewhere? Maybe. Kyle gets canceled again. We should have an Oscars for canceling people. 
This is Kyle's third nomination for a cancel and second canceling award. Ever since his brave work when he uh, said, what's disgusting about war? Okay, turns out the long sword Decent weapon. Not great, but it's decent. Y'all ever notice that the later it gets in the day, the darker it gets? It's kind of crazy. I wonder what's up with that. Okay. So first king should be about there. No, there. Okay, which means second spawn is over here. Uh, I forgot to get resin. Oops, uh, this might be bad. Actually, wait, this isn't bad at all. Wait a second. I forgot to upgrade my Estus again. Actually, isn't bad damage. Hold up. Wait a second. Second. Aw. I thought the damage was going to be way worse. That's awkward. Oh, wait. Uh, I remember to get that ring on. That's interesting. Okay, that's through. That's a three and then a five and then a three? That's a four, a four, and a five. Interesting. 
Are you disappointed it was easy? I thought it was gonna be like a little harder than that. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm just out of touch on starting weapons. Surprisingly easy when you don't have to use Kirk's armor. Yeah, who would have guessed that? Who would have guessed that when you don't have to roll everything to death on New Game Plus, it's suddenly a much easier game? Actually, I should probably go to... Okay, so I screwed up, and I forgot to open a certain shortcut, so now I gotta go run the long way around somewhere. More like out of touch with, you know, normal weapons. True. Yeah, apparently Warrior's Kit, not super bad as long as you put upgrades into it. Which, I mean, I think is just... That's honestly just the motto for Dark Souls, right? Just put upgrades into your weapon and it'll probably be good. I forgot to upgrade SS again. Next time I'm at, a, I'm at a Fire Link, I'll do it. Oops. Whoops. Ow. Ow. Did you kill Moonlight Butterfly? I did. You guys, you guys gonna come out here and fight me, or are you gonna? Just straight up warrior steering equipment and upgrades, nothing else. Yep. I mean. I'm allowed to use consumables and uh, rings. Those are the only kind of deviations. Come again, Mickey. Uh, I'm gonna. Use, I don't think I'm gonna need more than 20, but just in case, I'm gonna get some more. Yeah, 30 should be more than enough. Use fire bombs without permission so it runs dead anyway. You know what? I got my permission to use fire bombs. How about that? Uh, let's go kill Nito. Nito's fast. You sorry fool. You could not be the... Estes, thank you. You sorry fool. You could not be... The... Would you agree that Elden Ring is the best game ever made? No, that's not Persona. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, no, I don't think it... I don't think uh, Elden Ring is the best game ever made. I think it's a very good game. It's a very good game with a lot of flaws, but it's a very good game. Oh, sorry, fool. You could not be the... Oh, you actually got the cho full chosen one at that time. Mm -hmm. 
replaying and realizing how good it is. It is pretty good. Wait for Elden Ring 2 or 3? I don't know. Maybe Miyazaki's cooking up uh, Elden Ring 2. Maybe. Look, in the beginning, there was Miyazaki, and then he said, let him cook. And then Dark Souls was born. Have you played Cruelty Squad? I have not, but I do want to try it if it's the game I'm thinking of. They said, let him cook. An even better remastered version of DS1 or a full remake of DS2? Probably go for a full remake of DS2, honestly. Have you played Bloodborne? Yes, for approximately four hours. And then my brain got bored and uh, decided it wanted to play Kingdom Hearts. Uh, that was six years ago, I think. I'm guessing stream ends when the run ends? Probably. Unless we really run into a wall, which I highly doubt it. Um... In which case, we'll end it earlier than the end of the run, and then we'll just finish it when we start the next run. But I have a feeling we'll be able to clean up the rest of the game here. Just judging by our damage on four kings, um, Izalith bosses probably shouldn't give us any problems. Nito is Nito. Seath. Uh, Gwyn is a glorified NPC. And then DLC. I mean, I guess DLC is going to be interesting. There we Take that humanity. I have a feeling either Artorius or Calamite's gonna end up being the hardest. But I'm just checking, it's a bit late here, but I'm enjoying the stream too much to leave. I am glad that you're enjoying the stream. I just made a chicken quesadilla. I bet you're really jealous. No, you're jealous. Okay. Uh, Nito certainly exists. He won't for long. Probably. Wanderer will be the best. Wanderer certainly 
be interesting. Um, for Nito, the boss that's really hard. No, guys, stop laughing. He's difficult. down even if I tank it unstaggered. Good to know. Ideally, you are able to do a uh, standing tank of that move, but... Was certainly something. Shall we go to Seath? First run, you go to him. Like, after Simone Orsi, and if not later, he's like, no challenge. I mean, it depends when you go to Dakemon. That was pretty neato. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just realized how long getting everything in DS1 actually takes. Eh. Sometimes it takes a minute. Ah, my sides are in real danger. Just Kyle being possessed by a demon after be reading a bad pun. All right, chat. We're going to make this interesting. I'm going to Duke skip. Because I haven't done that in like six months. So uh, we're going to see how many ch attempts this take. Okay, Sans. <laughs> Over or under 10 tries? Only one try? I highly doubt it. I'm so rusty at this. A little too early. Whoa! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Why is it... That's so weird that it's doing that. Huh. 
Come on. Yep. Was a needed to go back a little further and let's do this for the next two hours. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're speaking my language. Don't worry. I am a professional speedrunner. I was at one point the ninth fastest person at the game. I'm like number 50 something now, but. That was late. I walked off the elevator that time. That was just terrible. Yeah, ninth place. I, I was pretty proud of that. Back in my day, we did. It took us an hour to beat the game. Easiest game of my life. Easy game, easy life. Alright, let's spend those needle souls, shall we? It's a three. Another three. And then a two? That's a four. A three. A three. And a three. Okay. I think Dex might be slightly better. Say Kai character. Yo, speaking of Isekai, Kai, what anime is everybody watching right now? Or what's something good you watched recently? Either one. What? What? Uh, I want to hear it, chat. Give me, give me the anime you've been watching recently. I want to hear it. Arcane, God Tier Show. Code Geass, I need to watch that one. SpongeBob, nice. Spy Family, uh, watching that one as soon as I am done with JoJo's. Looking forward to it. Code Lyoko, incredibly based. Overflow, listen. You know where you belong. Uh. Restaurant to another world. Hmm. I've actually not heard of that one. Gintama. Yo, I heard that Gintama ended like two years ago or something like that. And that blew my mind because I thought Gintama was like immortal. I'm going to get clams. Final Fantasy Spirit Within. Okay. Don't hate on Overflow. I'm not hating on it. I just know what it is. 
and you know where you belong. Chat, do not Google Overflow, by the way. Save yourself the mental scarring. All right, now I spent all my stun time hitting a clam instead of Ornstein. Or not Ornstein, excuse me. Why did I say Ornstein? Is this an MFing Ornstein? That's three Lord Souls. That leaves a bed of chaos and DLC. So let's go get a uh, let's go get this bed, shall we? Eminence in the shadow. I've actually heard good things about Eminence in the Shadow. Mm. Uh, on my side... Um, I became an incredibly sad boy when I found out that ZOM 100 was on hiatus, because, uh... Uh, ZOM 100 is very fun and good, and I really like it. Um... Just got done catching up with Kengen Ashura, and let me tell you, if you like a show that is about man beats the crap snot out of the next man, and you like tournament tournament arcs, Kengan Ashra is the show for you. That show is so good. It's gonna be ending sometime in 2024 from what the website says. Uh, aside from that, uh, JoJo Stone Ocean is, um, I'm like halfway done with that. Uh, and then I'll be done with JoJo's until they animate Steel Ball Run. Uh, trying to think what other shows I'm watching. Hello, Holy Corn God Form 1. We are on our way to the bed of chaos because we need to kill the bed of chaos. Lord Trek, how you doing? Thanks for your ring, buddy. Not an anime, but have you watched Disenchanted? I have not. Kyle, tell me the lore of the land. Why is the Bed of Chaos the best girl? You see... Bed of Chaos is the best girl because the Witch of Izalith was doing everything she could to save the kingdoms. A kingdom that wasn't even technically her own. She belonged to Izalith, not even truthfully 
Lordran in some ways, but she still wanted to save the land. She wanted to risk everything and attempted to recreate the first flame. Truthfully, an inspiring figure. Uh, best anime to watch for somebody that has never watched anime. Okay, so. You gotta ask yourself what you want. So there's a few good answers. Me personally, uh, I think a good starting anime is probably either, uh... Oh, yeah, also. Just as a warning, when you're starting anime, just know anime is weird. You get used to it, though. You do get used to it. Don't worry. Uh, personal recommendation for a starter. Uh, I would say Soul Eater is one of them. I think Soul Eater is very, very good. Um, there is also Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I will say, though, you might set your expectations really high if you watch that one. Uh, but it is, in fact, amazing. That being said, Soul Eater is nice. It gets a nice little balance of all of the weirdness and the, uh, the fun. Um, if you're looking for something that's a bit more... A bit less combat-y and a bit more peppy and stuff... Uh, I have heard that Toradora is fantastic. Cannot speak for it myself. I have yet to see Toradora. Uh, gonna watch it soon-ish. Also, Kirk just invaded, so... That's great. Lovely. Um, also, I saw you tots. Hi, tots. Um, well, that's because Lamp doesn't know any better, Doc. Lamp's out here just not saying hi to you because he's just... He's just not educated. Is that the real doc? It is indeed the real doc. Kirk's armor is pretty nice, don't you think, GW? Yeah, Doom, it's so great. Hey, Doom, have you ever thought about running Armor of Thorns only on New Game Plus 2? I think it'd be really good for channel growth. I bet you'd, uh, I, I bet you'd get a lot of uh, video impressions. You know, New Game Plus 2? Might be a, might be a solid challenge. By the way, I know there's been a lot of YouTube creators in here today, and uh, I haven't said this for all of them, but go subscribe to Doom Wolf. Man's makes good content. Same with all the other YouTubers that have been in here, but like, I forgot to say it for them, but I didn't for my man Doom. Doom is great. He did like RL, what was it? RL1 Ichigo in uh, Elden Ring. That was neat. Elden Ring without walking. Some say that Doom did it first. Some say that inspired Dark Souls without walking. Probably really smart people inspired that. Would say that uh, someone named Doom Wolf inspired that run.
By the way, when is the hot tub stream? As soon as I get a hot tub that I can stream from. You know, I really should have lured you to the other spot. That's fine. That's not even lava though, bro. Ow. Sounds spicy or spiky. Oh, I assure you it'll be both. Centipede demon, much hard. Great wow. What do you think the most fun build to do in El is an Elden Ring? Most fun? I really like Dark Moon uh, Great Sword. You know, I'll put more levels in Vitality, why not? I'm gonna go back inside so my fingers stop freezing and lose cell service. Love you, Kyle. I love you too, Doc. Briar armor? I'm not good enough at the game yet, Doom. I'm bad at Elden Ring. I'm just not good enough yet. <laughs> I'm bad at video games, you know this. Is Elden Ring the best Soulsborn? Personal preference. Both your and Lemon's reactions to getting it have created my headcan to the chosen undead just shrugging off everything. <laughs> Alright, Ryan. You have fun being social. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Breaking news gamer is bad at games. True! Listen, would I be a real gamer if I was good at video games? Everyone knows real gamers don't even play video games. Yeah, the, the lava stomping is a... Uh... My brain is informing me it would like to take its nightly bath. I'm off to bed. Good night, everyone. Thank you for hanging out, Silver. I do appreciate it. You are awesome. Real gamers spectate games but never partake. Exactly. Why play League of Legends when I can just watch worlds? Five head.
You know what? This is all right. Bye, Kirk. Ah, there's a symbol in the way. I can't see what what's after the B. Hold on. B170 LP. Cool. Wait, you play League? I do. It's fun. Why play LOL when you can watch Arcane? Yo. Some said he was spitting. And I agree. What does Bed of Chaos taste like? I got you. You want to know what Bed of Chaos tastes like? Go outside, find a tree, and just take a big old bite out of it. Just all of its oaky and birchy goodness. Just absolutely chomp down on that thing. Come back and let the class know what you found. Yeah, you gotta start with High Guardian Spice. Yeah, that's a... Uh, mmm. Objectively the best anime ever made. Yeah, for added effect, sprinkle some like buffalo sauce on your uh, on your perch. Why did I skip that? That was a terrible cutscene to skip. It's all right. I'll get the cutscene from one of the other playthroughs. All right. Welcome to the Bed of Chaos Final Run Master Class. We are doing this meme again because it's a thing. And woo. All right. To do the last run of the Bed of Chaos, you have to know that all of the fire scythes land in fixed positions. So therefore, there is an objectively best position to start your run from. If you take yourself and be about diagonal from this branch, about a character space away, the scythes will miss you and you can run after the second arm. And when you do that, you run off of this part here on the diagonal, wait for the swipes to finish passing, and then move up, at which point, you can roll through all of the branches, and when you're rolling through the branches, just be careful that you don't roll into any Firestorm Pillars. And there you go, the Bed of Chaos Masterclass. It's not like I've killed this boss two billion times. <laughs> Masterclass ever. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed your bed of chaos education. Uh, Alright, I'm putting. I need one more level in endurance just so it's a nice number. What starting classes have you already finished? Uh, none of them. This is the first run. I paid for this? No, guys. Google paid for this. <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright, next up it's time for the Hydra. The Hydra is hard because I...
Oh, hey, that's two large titanite shards. I don't think he likes DS1 anymore. The Hydra equals the boss? I mean... In, uh, Armor of Thorns, New Game Plus, he took longer than over half the bosses to kill, so... If we're using that as a metric, maybe he is a boss. Fromsoft, you really gonna tell me that hit me. Oh wait, I forgot, I gotta do this. You're gonna jump. Nope, that won't kill. All right. Does that mean the Ash Lake Hydra is an uber boss? I feel like fighting Ash Lake Hydra with Armor of Thorns on New Game Plus would be the most miserable Souls experience I've ever had. Um, hello? Game? If you're ever having trouble hitting this last head, I mean, there is that you can do, but you can also just come over here and you can shift the uh, positions the head attack in. So on far side of the lake, that head actually buries in the lake if you go far enough to the side. Also, you just got a lot more space over here, but... I think right about here should be good. Okay, Hydra, I'm trying to show off something and you're being rude. Thank you for nothing, you worthless scaled abomination. Golem. Woo. Uh, when, in the Pyromancer run, will you use any other Pyromancies other than Fireball? I will not. Okay, now we go to An Orlando. We gotta go kill the uh, other golem so we can get Broken Pendant. Then we can go into the DLC, we do the DLC, we kill all the bosses in the DLC, and then we go kill Gwyn, we end the run, we end the stream, I go bash my head into a wall 14 times, I see pretty stars, 
uh, have another psychotic breakdown, and then uh, eat spaghetti or something. I don't know. It sounds like a plan. Spaghetti? Yeah, spaghetti. I think I'll have spaghetti for dinner. Probably. You eat dino nuggets after. Hey, 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 hey. They're called dino nuggies and you know it. What do you mean, another breakdown? Do I... Does that require further explanation? I'll get back in my... You know what? This is even worse. I guess not. You are a zoomer. Listen, you have no way of proving that. Just because Press called me a Zoomer doesn't mean anything. Can you break it down for me? Well, if I mean, an if I said another psychotic breakdown, that might imply. I have so much health. So much health and only a plus two flask. Yeah, it's kind of rough. But it's fine. From doing glitchless any percent, I'm kind of used to running on a plus zero flask, so plus two is honestly kind of a luxury. <laughs> Do you only have DLC left? That and Gwyn, correct. I have a feeling Sanctuary Guardian's not gonna be too bad. Uh Artorias probably gonna beat my ass. And then uh Manus probably won't be too bad. I'm too lazy to go out of my way to get them attack the fairy lady. That's fair. I mean, that's exactly what's going to happen, game buff.
Man, this is great. Can you get to Crystal Caves from Anor Londo? No. I don't even think there's a glitch that'll let you do that. Time to do some DLC. Could someone explain this run? Basically, this is the first of 10 runs where we're only allowed to use the items that were gifted to us at the beginning of the game as far as equipment goes. Consumables and rings are on the table. However, weapons, armor, and shields are limited to whatever the beginning class gave us. In this case, we are the warrior. So I'm not going to be using Ow! Ooh, that was a one-handed strike. Hell yeah. Okay, maybe if I could roll on time, that'd be great. Maybe I should actually heal and the proper healing windows. I'll take that trade. Was a little, uh, a little messier than I would have liked, but not bad. Okay. Next up. All bosses means double guardians, right? Right? R right? Right? No.
All right, welcome to the forest where I always find a way to die. Hey, Robo! Thank you so much for the five. Did my own... Before Elden Ring came out, did my own warrior run for a video without leveling up. Yes, you were the one that did the... Uh, I, I could have sworn it was you uh, who did something very similar to this without the level ups. I knew I remembered somebody had done it. I think we should vote on it. All right. I'll put up a poll with one answer that says no. By the way, this segment without walking was uh, interesting. Miss you continue to look in your run. Thank you so much, Jim. I hope you have some very good sleep. And thank you so much for hanging out so late. Good pull. Sounds fair. Exactly. Thank you again so much, Robo. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. So long. So this is where things start to get interesting. That was an interesting hitbox. Punish. That was a terrible dodge on my part. I should have been hit by that. Apparently, I just don't know of our know Artorias today. That was greedy.
Ooh, wow, okay. I did not press roll there. It buffered through that uh, slime thing. Ah, I tried to go for the style. Alrighty. Not too shabby. Three bosses to go. Chester, aren't I? That's a very shallow death box. It's alright, though. Just means I don't have to deal with Chester. Also, I don't usually run uh, left around that guy. I don't know why I did that time. Damn. God. Jeez. Getting the freaking wombo combo out here. Should have just kept running, but. Skipped Elden Ring, didn't care for the open world aspect. I preferred the likes of Demon Souls and Dark Souls over the Bloodborne design philosophy. Interesting. Nice and easy. Now the crest key. And then we zoom on out of here.
Alrighty, after we hit this, time to head over to... Okay, this spot is always tricky to run through. Exhibit A. Yep, that's always something you gotta worry about. Sometimes the chain prisoner will uh, take a dive. Doesn't look like he's getting to this time, but it happens. All right, I know we do not have any uh, silver medallion. I don't have any way to create light. So, you know. You can do the math. Or a silver pendant, sorry. Okay. And then you wait here. Bonk. And boinkus. We hit this. This. And it is Manus time. This shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Um, Pendantless is a little spooky, but... It happens. I can't name the last time I fought man as the normal weapon. Feels like it's been so long. I mean, maybe without walking, I guess, but does that really count? Probably could have resined there. I don't think it's adding that much damage. If we say that attack again, we'll resin. That's not a combo. That's a combo.
Oh, that sucks. It happens. Damage is good, though. I'm actually quite surprised on how good the uh, plus 15 longsword is doing. Gives me good... Good indicator for the rest of the runs. Oh, poison. God, my brain is flashing back to the... What was it? 200 attempts of uh, Manus one-shots? They're coming flooding back. Okay, shield is very effective on that. I would not have guessed that. It's too distracted by the shielding to dodge that. Man, I'm too much into my Dark Souls 2 habit of double S to sing. That time I wasn't facing the correct direction to shields. Supposed to not get hit, you know? <laughs> what? Nah. Getting hit's the best part, though. Wow, I'm up to 400 AR thereabouts on my sword. That's really good. All right, two more bosses, and then we are wrapped up on the warrior.
All right, chat. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being difficult, 10 being so brain dead easy you could do it if your brain was the Johannes Gutenberg printing press. How hard do you guys would you guys say this run looks? A four? Okay. Nine, three, ten, eight. Printing press out of ten. So I'd probably say on this one, I'd probably give it. Why am I getting a? Oh, that's a neat feature. Cool. One more billion. Um, I would probably rate this. Probably an eight. Probably a seven or eight. Like, definitely not the easiest run of Dark Souls I've ever done in my life, but it's like, it's been really chill. Longsword plus 15, surprising amount of damage. Also, I think the move set on the long sword is nice. Yeah, move set's really good. What was the easiest run for you? Um, Dark Souls without stamina was pretty easy. But so was, mm, so was sorcery only. I mean, Sorcery Only is probably, like, the quintessential easy run, right? But there are some other, like, fairly easy runs. Time for Goff to show us off. Um, the easiest challenge run I've ever done. Probably, uh, a run you haven't quite seen yet, but will. You know, it just occurred to me that that uh, piece that's playing right there, that musical piece, is the same in the intro of the game. Never occurred to me before. Alrighty, Calamy is going to be a very big factor when deciding difficulty here, because... Calamy's going to be quite the contender, I think. I don't... Calamy's tanky, and I just don't like fighting Calamy, but... 
I mean, he's a good boss. Don't get me wrong. He's really, really good. But, like, he's spooky. He's one of the bosses that scares me. Okay, and I can run the rest of this. Good old calorie meat. Yeah, I'm going to try my best for you guys to not get uh, too much tinnitus. You know what? I will definitely take that damage. Yes, thank you for hitting me with your stomach. Thank you, Calamite. We like to see that. Nice and easy. And by nice and easy, I mean, uh... That was certainly a fight. <laughs> Alrighty. I think we've only got Gwyn, right? Because we killed Gaping, we killed Capra, we got Gwendolyn, we got Priscilla, we got uh, Stray... Yeah, we're pretty much, pretty much done here. You sorry for also, I don't remember saying hi to you, but hey, Llama.
And you know what? For our last level, we'll have a little bit of faith. Because you gotta have faith. Hope you've been well. I have certainly been something. Hope you have been something that is well. Kind of surprised you don't have any mods in chat. Eh, most of them are asleep, I think. It's all right. Y'all have been good, pretty good today. Aside from I heard there were Bloodborne spoilers, but Thankfully, I didn't see any. <laughs> Fair enough, Llama. So, at the end of Bloodborne. You see, what happens in Bloodborne is uh, the main character actually turns into a violent octopus. Some would even call it a squid. A very big squid that eats the moon or something. I don't know. Yep, get your plin plin plons ready. Done. And you know what? I'll choose Dark Lord because uh usually I do Dark Lord on runs I had a good time with. Bless thy safe return. Let God and Frant serve your hands. Warrior run? Not that bad. Um didn't feel too different from a uh, normal playthrough. Um, there were definitely times when I had to adapt a bit. Um, definitely weapons that I would rather use, but like, this wasn't a bad run at all. And as great as the credits music is, we are going to get a final time check here. The Lord of the Dump. In about a four hour run. Four hours, all bosses. Not bad at all.
I will say, um, had a lot of fun this run. Um, although that may mostly be due in part with having a very lovely chat with me the entire time. Y'all have been pretty great. You know, we had, we had a little bit of a weird uh, eating bosses thing going on at one point. But for the most part, this has been a... Uh, even during then, that was a lot of fun. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Um, at some point... Uh, at some point uh, in the next week, I would like to uh, try and make some more streaming content. Try and uh, get the next run going, which of course will be the night, I believe is the next one, which will probably end up being even easier. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, though, I do have a voiceover that I do need to record for Hexes Only, so that way I can get DS2 Hexes Only in your guys' hands, and then I can get the, uh, the first XCOM challenge finished, and then I can finally get that Dark Souls 3 video done. Uh, so, lots of stuff, lots of content coming y'all your way. Uh, while you're here, what <laughs> up, making Mala Mod? Hmm, we'll, we'll think about it. I'll talk to her later. Um, need more GW streams? 100% your streams are always so chill. It's a good time. Thank y'all. <laughs> Gotta say, it's always... It's always a lot more fun when we have... Uh, when we have all, all of the... All of this, the uh, fellow Souls tubers and streamers out here. It is a... Uh, always a good day. Um... Once again, if y'all haven't subscribed to, or, or how many streamers that showed up today? Uh, Doom Wolf, BN, Baron's Castle, Press Continue, uh, JK Leads. If you haven't gone and subscribed to all of them, please do. They are all fantastic content creators. I can highly recommend each and every one of their content. Um, I, I promise you, I would not recommend you content if I did not personally find it enjoyable and all of them put out videos that I very much do appreciate. So, please, go check them out. They are awesome. Um, but in the meantime, I think I am going to go eat some food. Uh, and, uh, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, I appreciate all the likes. They've been awesome. And I will uh, see you guys in the next live stream. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, stay happy. And I love all of you. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>